In this demonstration, you will learn how to create a RAY file source in Speos. First of all, you have to go to the LED provider's website and download the RAY data. You can choose between the format IESNA TM25 and the SPAOS format. Then you can download the LED CAD for a more correct positioning. Once you downloaded all the data, you can import the LED part inside the SPAOS. When you have correctly positioned your LED part inside the spales, you have to check the documentation provided by the LED manufacturer to find the information on the correct positioning of the ray file with respect to the LED CAD. This is very important. Then, in Light Simulation tab, you will find the ray file icon to create the ray file source. You just have to select one origin and two axes for the correct positioning and orientation. Then you can reverse the directions if necessary. Just check. The Z axis must have the same direction of the light. Then you can import your ray file and you can choose among different number of rays. In our case, we imported 5 million rays. Then you can select the exit geometry by selecting the whole LED part, just to be sure that the rays are starting from this part. Let's create another ray file source using the ESNA TM25. To do that, you can just copy and paste the same source and just change the file. Normally, ESNA TM25 contains more measured rays compared with the normal SPELS format. That means that you can launch more accurate simulation. This concludes this demonstration of the creation of a SPELS ray file source. Thank you!